This is a role play to show how the alcohol use disorder identification test or the audit can be used to screen for alcohol use. Hi Tando, I'm a counsellor here at the clinic and I have your file here, Dr. Smith has referred you and I'm just wondering if we could discuss um, some concerns that he has um, identified and if we can answer these questions. I do this with all patients and whatever you tell me is confidential. Okay, no problem. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Can we get going? Okay, so it's just 10 questions and if you can be as honest as you can just for us to get to um, the bottom of what's happening. Um, because he has mentioned that you have missed some um, visits to the clinic. No, it's fine. Is that fine? Yes. Okay, so how often do you have a drink containing alcohol? Would you say it's never, the options are never, monthly or less, two to four times a month, two to three times a week, or four more times a week? I would say uh, two to three times a week. Two to three times yeah. a week. And then how many drinks containing alcohol do you have on a typical day when you are drinking? So in that two to three times a week, how many would you say you're drinking on those days? How many drinks? By how many drinks meaning? Okay, so if you look at this sheet, um, this breaks it down. So if you're having one beer, then that's one unit of, of alcohol. So. I'm not sure what you're drinking, but if you can maybe tell me what you're drinking. Okay, I drink beer. Okay, yeah. so how many beers do you drink on a typical day? I would say uh, five or five? six, somewhere okay. there. And then how often do you have six or more of those beers on one occasion? So on those weekends that you drink, are there times when you drink six or, m or more beers? Uh, that would happen maybe... Uh, at month, month end, I would say uh, that's where I have money, got, just got paid, uh, I would say maybe then those days I would have more than six. Okay, so yeah. that would be monthly, so it yeah. happens about like oh, once, a, once month, a month, one yeah. to two times a month, okay. How often during the last year have you found that you were not able to stop drinking once you had started? Uh, that would also say uh, at the end of the month. Okay. Maybe once a month. Okay, so it sounds like just after payday, those weekends you drink, you're drinking more than six and you are um, not able to stop. Yes, yes. Okay, so monthly. How often during the last year have you failed to do what was normally expected from you because of your drinking? So things like, are you able to um, pick up your kids? Are you able to go to work? Are you able to go buy food for the house? Things like that. Also, I would say uh, maybe I would have babalas mm -hmm. and then I will, the end of the month as well and then I don't go to work, things like okay. that. So in those times when I have money, I would say uh, once a month also. Okay, so monthly. At the beginning of the month, yeah. Okay, so then you're not able to do what you expected yeah, to do. Because okay. I drink too much, yes. Okay, so monthly. Okay, how often during the last year have you needed a first drink in the morning to get yourself going after a heavy drinking session? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, so would that happen every week, every month? No, just at the beginning of the month. Okay, yeah. so would you say less than monthly because it's about once only? Yes, once yes. Every, okay. How often during the last year have you had a feeling of guilt or remorse after drinking? Uh. No. 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 You don't have any guilt no. feelings. Okay. That's fine. There's just a few more questions, okay? Yeah. How often during the last year have you been unable to remember what happened the night before you had been drinking? So like just not able to remember what happened after you've had like a lot to drink? Let's say uh during the beginning of the month. After those uh okay. end of the month to weekends. Okay. Yes. Would that happen every month over the last year or just now and then? Like Yeah, just now and then. Okay. Just that first week after payday, yeah. Okay, but is that every month or less than monthly? I'd say less than monthly. Less than monthly, yes. okay. So it doesn't really happen every month where you can't remember? No. no. Okay, just to clarify that. Have you or someone else ever been injured as a result of your drinking? I don't remember any. No, so that's so a no. I'll say no. Yes. Okay. Has a relative or friend or a doctor 
or any other healthcare worker been concerned about your drinking or have they suggested that you cut down? So the answers here are either no, yes, but not in the last year or yes, during the last year. Yeah, I would say during the, uh, this year, yeah, my family has been quite concerned about me, about my drinking. Okay, yeah. your family. And I noticed that the doctor as well, because he has referred you to me. So that is yes, and it happened in the last year. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, thank you Tando for completing these questions. If it's fine with you, we can go through the score and then we can decide what to, to do after this. Yes, that's fine. Tando's audit score was 17, according to the scoring pyramid. This puts him in zone 3, which is indicative that he has a high level of alcohol problems. An appropriate response would be to provide brief counselling and continued monitoring.